Hey guys around here welcome back to another video today is day 4 of rapid reviews and this is the review of pixel experience 10 rom for xiaomi mi a1 in case you don't know a custom rom is like another operating system for android it's like you bought a new windows laptop and installed linux but pe10 is not a completely different operating system it's more like a modified version of android as the name suggests, PE10 is supposed to simulate what Google Pixel devices offers in Android 10. Obviously, the experience won't be the same, but let's see how close it is. I'm on the November 8th build of this ROM and of course Android version 10.0, so my review is based on this version. Okay, three things. Performance, battery, features. Let's start with the performance. I don't play games on this device. The only game I have on my phone is Sudoku. I don't even remember the last time. I opened that app. I use social media apps a lot and those apps don't require that much horsepower. The only three apps that require a fair amount of power in my phone are Camera, Lightroom and Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Pixel Experience does take a lot of time to export my Canon RAW photos. Also taking HDR plus photos in Gcam will take a solid 4 seconds which forces me to use the regular HDR most of the time. But these slowdowns are mainly because of the Snapdragon 625 which is mediocre processor in today's standard. But it is absolutely fine for normal daily use. Uh, there are some optimization issues on this ROM. The gesture navigation system is broke for some reason. The back gesture won't work at all. So I have to stick with the legacy hardware buttons. Another annoying issue is sometimes the phone will jump to the lock screen and lock the phone itself for no reason. Which is annoying but it only happens a couple of times a week. So it's fine. Ok let's talk about the battery. Battery backup is good for me, despite being a 2 year old phone with 3000mAh battery. The main reason for this good battery backup is me. I don't demand that much horsepower from this phone, I get around 6 hours of screen on time most of the days. This is achieved by aggressive RAM management. In result, multitasking between more than 4 apps is not a pleasant experience. But in my opinion, that's a good sacrifice to make for a better battery life. But on the other hand, charging speeds are great. There is a noticeable difference between stock ROM. The phone takes less than 2 hours to fully charge on the stock 2M charger that is around 30 minutes faster compared to the stock ROM, probably reducing the battery health in the long run, but I think it's worth it. Features if you're not familiar with the Pixel devices, Pixel Experience ROM don't come with any extra customization or tools like in Research and Remix or even in non-stock ROMs like MIUI. To be honest, these extra features in those ROMs do make a difference in overall experience, but I like the minimal setup PE10 offers. Also Android 10 comes with its own customization features like accent colors, dark mode and some control over the visual elements. And that's all I need. If you're someone like me and you are looking for a ROM to try on Mi A1, Pixel Experience 10 is a really good one. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.